Which country has the most secure banks in the world? People fear the effects of money printing, helicopter money, inflation and political instability. They fear higher taxes, devaluation of the US dollar and euro, confiscation, redistribution of wealth, capital export restrictions and new exit taxation. They don't trust the government. The world has become more insecure. The question is how to protect what's yours. More and more smart investors have a plan B. They are moving their assets offshore, outside of the country of residence. Here is the evidence. Since the COVID-19 crisis, a new record number of investors moved assets in secure hands in Swiss banks. I will disclose surprising numbers later on in the video. They are looking for a second passport, a second residence or a golden visa. Having more flexibility and more mobility is an asset. Definitely. Since COVID-19, the citizenship by investment and golden visa industry is skyrocketing. Smart investors are prepared for the worst case scenario. I will give you a proven plan B strategy with the most secure banks in the world and the safest country for asset protection. I will give you an overview on the nine most famous banking countries, but only one country has the most secure banks in the world. Discover which country is best destination for protecting your asset. Get your money out of your country before your country gets your money out of you. Protect your money in the most secure banks in the world. Stay with me. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com Hello, I'm Enzo Caputo, the Swiss banking lawyer, the founder of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions for better asset protection with Swiss banks and how to pay less tax. We fight for your money. Offshore banking business is a red flag. For some retail bankers, offshore banking business means criminal activities. Offshore is a red flag. Most banks in the UK are not opening accounts for domestic UK companies if the beneficial owner is not a UK resident. Compliance officers have the last say in most questions. That's the reality. More often, there is a compliance committee ruling over the business division. If something goes wrong with combating money laundering, the mistake was made by the co committee and not by the single compliance officer. That's a typical job protection and safety as strategy in big banks. Typical. Bankers have excessive fear of almost everything. Banks are reluctant in taking risks. If possible, the bank shouldn't even have clients. They just cause problems. This risk avoidance attitude will destroy the business. Let's have a closer look to some countries where a non-resident can still open an offshore bank account in an offshore com with, for an offshore company. Cyprus is a typical private banking and offshore banking jurisdiction for mainly Russian clients. Cyprus is the prime offshore jurisdiction for Russian clients. Cyprus has an extended double taxation treaty network, first of all with the Russian Federation. Everyone remembers the banking crisis in Cyprus in March 2013. Cyprus is doing a lot for attracting new investors since the crisis. They launched a very attractive citizenship by investment program without effective and physical residence requirements. This is the strategy to circumvent the automatic exchange of information and common reporting standard for many investors. If you open a bank account, with a new Cyprus passport with residence in Cyprus as a Russian, the Swiss bank will send bank information to the Cyprus tax authorities and not to Russia. That's the goal of many Russian investors. The citizenship by investment program was, was a success story. Among the army of wealthy globalists or nomad capitalists buying a second passport, also criminal capitalists were attracted to the program to, le to legalize the assets. The European Union attacked Cyprus for having collected money of criminal origin. The European Union forced Cyprus to suspend the citizenship program. You may remember that deposits with Laiki Bank exceeding 100,000 euro were all completely lost. 47.5% of the deposits with the Bank of Cyprus were converted into shares of the bank. A very bad deal. The European Union put a new technology to the test 
In the name of helping the bank to survive, the European Union legalized the confiscation of deposits. Since 2017, the European Union has the bail-in legislation ready for the next financial crisis. What does it mean to you? The European Union can legally confiscate your money to help the bank. Think about it. They will help the banks to survive with your money. That's a bad deal. That means red flag for smart investors. Most countries in the European Union run out of money. Only Switzerland, Liechtenstein and Norway are financially not indebted. All other countries are indebted. When you do a research on the most secure banks for asset protection, check the financial situation of the country first. Check the credit rating of the country before analyzing the bank's credit rating inside the country. First analyze the country after the banks. Indebted countries with budget problems are dangerous for your money. Here is a good example. Lebanon's zombie banking sector. Since August 2019, clients with a bank account in Lebanon lost their money. It's impossible to transfer money out of the country, out of Lebanon. We have a nationality, nationally regulated Ponzi scheme in Lebanon. Since August 2019, I'm receiving calls every week from investors having assets blocked in Lebanon, in Lebanon's zombie banks. Since August 2019, taking money out of Lebanon has become mission impossible. Instead of becoming their money back, the clients will receive shares of the Lebanese zombie bank or the Lebanese government will confiscate the zombie banks. Here is the rule number one. Check the credit rating of the country first before you check the credit rating of the bank. Which countries have AAA Standard & Poor country credit rating? Switzerland has the most stable Standard & Poor's AAA country, rate, uh, country credit rating since 1989. Other countries with AAA Standard & Poor's ratings are Canada, Denmark, Germany, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Singapore and Sweden. Only Switzerland has the most stable AAA credit rating since 1989. So Cyprus has become attractive again. I will tell you why. Despite the crisis in Cyprus, it is very strange that substantial amounts of money are still flowing into Cyprus. You know, substantial amounts of money are still flowing into Cyprus. You know why? Here is the truth. The reason is there is nowhere else to go but Cyprus. If you have been rejected by multiple private banking jurisdictions, you have no other option for opening a bank account. Try Cyprus or you just give us a call. We may have a better solution for you. We can open corporate accounts for offshore companies owned by non-resident clients. We are in a position to open corporate accounts. Here is the solution. Corporate bank accounts in Bulgaria. Opening corporate accounts for non-resident owners is a nightmare. We are opening offshore bank accounts in Bulgaria for companies with non-resident owners. In Bulgaria it works. Let's assume you are living in Monte Carlo. You have a Panama company engaged in trading activities. In and out transactions are very frequent. Usually banks do not like in and out transactions. They, had, they don't want to do it. They don't want to accept your money. Not with our bank. We are in a position to open accounts for your trading company. We have a very successful bank in Bulgaria. It's the best bank for executing transactions. The bank officers offer trade finance services, including letter of credit, bank guarantee, etc. Our clients have peace of mind with our solution for corporate accounts. If you like this video, show it to us and push the like button now. If you like more information just like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you click on the subscribe button and ring the bell, you will never miss a new video. Do it. Push the subscribe button. Will Hong Kong, com will Ho uh, will Hong Kong remain a financial hub? Account opening in Hong Kong was super easy a few years ago. Since the automatic exchange of information is taking place, it's a nightmare. You can try to open a corporate account in Hong Kong. Good luck. Good luck with the call center of the bank. You have to involve Chinese partners as directors having connections to China. You need an attractive business plan with high turnovers for convincing the bank for bank account opening. Be alerted. The Chinese formalities can make you crazy. You have no chance opening a bank account alone without the proper introduction. Alone, it's mission impossible. Since the COVID-19 crisis, Many smart investors are taking money out of Hong Kong. They transfer their assets to Switzerland. Just this morning I had 
A phone call with the Hong Kong investor. Why? They don't trust the government in Beijing. Transferring money out of China has become a very difficult task because of stringent capital export restrictions. Most Chinese investors have a golden visa for Portugal in the pocket. In case of political turmoil, they jump in the next airplane for Portugal. That's a typical plan B. The first step of a, every plan B is moving money out to Switzerland. The second step is having a golden visa in the pocket. In case of emergency, you are in a pool position for leaving the country with the next airplane. Let's have a look at Singapore. Singapore is a good jurisdiction if you do business in Asia. Account opening for non-residents will not be easy anymore. Banks in Singapore are very selective. You need a substantial amount of money. One million dollar should be the minimum deposit for Singapore. Otherwise, no chance in Singapore. You must be a very, you must be very transparent with the bank. Their anti-money laundering compliance levels are mind-blowing. Their English skills are not the best. The risk of misunderstandings will accompany you during the entire account opening process. There is no free lunch in Singapore. Singapore is adapting the automatic exchange of information and common reporting standard rules. If you can produce strong evidence with impeccable documentation showing the origin of funds, you may qualify for an offshore bank account there. The high level of privacy and outstanding financial market infrastructure offered in Switzerland, also known as the Swiss value chain, can't be found in Singapore. Let's talk about Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Account opening in Dubai can be very expensive and time consuming for a foreign company. There is a lot of administration work. You need a local facilitator or local sponsor to be successful with account opening in Dubai. Not all banks are safe. Watch out. Many investors lost their money in Dubai. Many clients made the application for permanent residence in Dubai. They formed a local company to circumvent the automatic exchange of information and, copper and the common reporting standard. You need a local company for obtaining the permanent resident permit. It's possible obtaining the permanent residence permit without living in Dubai permanently. So you can be in Dubai without living there. However, you have to be in Dubai at least two times a year. You can maintain your resident permit by traveling two times per year to Dubai. Using a Dubai as a fictitious residence for tax reasons is not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's risky. The tax agencies in Europe are aware of the cheap tax evasion tricks with fabricated resident permits. According to the last report in April 2020, the Financial Action Task Force accused Dubai of being an attractive place for criminals. In fact, it's very easy for criminals to obscure company ownership information. They obscure the information, the paper trade. The United Arab Emirates are not cooperating with international investigations. A high volume of cash transactions, involvement of politically exposed persons in international payments, high level of corruption and the proximity to conflict regions, for example Iran, are making Dubai a Wild West banking destination. What does it mean to you? What means Wild West Banking Destination? It's, a very, it's very easy to transfer money to Dubai, but very difficult to take money out of Dubai. Dubai can be a money trap. You have to be very careful with the choice of the right bank in Dubai. Dubai lost its reputation and has definitely become a less attractive banking destination for honest and smart investors. What about Austria? In Austria, it has become very difficult to establish a banking relationship as a non-resident. They are closing accounts for non-resident customers. Austria is famous for the gentle behavior of their inhabitants. Unfortunately, that's not valid anymore for bankers. Let's have a look on Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein is an excellent jurisdiction for international private banking. Bankers are educated and happy to serve non-resident clients. However, the financial market infrastructure and investment skills are not comparable with the high value chain offered by Swiss banks. Switzerland is the first with the best banks. In Miami, let's have a look to Miami. In Miami, the new hub for tax evasion. Is Miami the new hub for tax evasion? In the USA, it's very easy to open a bank account. The USA are not exchanging bank information with the OECD countries. There is no doubt Miami is the hub for deposits with untaxed money owned by European tax dodgers. 
Trump created his own offshore paradise in the United States of America. The newly elected president of the USA, Joe Biden, declared to close all sorts of offshore loopholes. So watch out what Biden will do. However, in the USA, all investment skills are focused on US companies and on the US dollar. There is no global wealth management tradition and culture comparable to Switzerland. That's one of the main reasons why US investors are bringing money to Swiss banks. We fight for your money. They miss global wealth management skills in their states. For some specific South American clients, banking in Miami may be okay. Banking in Miami is okay if you have links to the United States. For global-minded investors looking for globally diversified investments, Miami is not the right destination for the fine art of high-class private banking services. I advise my clients to avoid international payments in US dollar. There is no confidentiality. It's very frequent that payments in US dollar are blocked by corresponding US banks. Often US banks are coming up with stupid questions. Misunderstandings and delays are very frequent, especially if the sender of the payment has an Arabic name. Your money can remain locked forever with Caribbean banks. Banks in the Caribbean islands are complicated. They are not well capitalized. Account opening is very frustrating and time consuming. They accept big amounts of money coming in, but it will be very difficult to transfer big amounts of money out of the Caribbean islands. Same phenomenon as in Dubai. Easy to bring money in, difficult to bring money out. Banking in the Caribbean can be a one-way trap. Your money can remain locked forever. There are many cheap offshore company providers and fraudsters in the Caribbean. I had clients who lost millions with banks in the Caribbean. So you have to be very careful with the selection of the right bank. They invented fraudulent stories and blocked the assets. Many investors cannot move their money out of the Caribbean. Watch out. We fight for your money. If your money is clean and you should opt for the most secure banks in the world, you should opt for Switzerland. The most secure banks in the world are definitely not in the Caribbean islands. Be very careful with offshore company providers. Before opening a bank account in the Caribbean, you have to do your own homework first. Check the financial situation of the country first. If you feel comfortable, start your due diligence on the banks. Check my video how to tell if a bank is safe. The Cayman Islands offer an excellent jurisdiction for setting up hedge funds. If you ask a hedge fund manager where the bank account of his hedge fund is located, most probably the answer will be not the Caribbean, but the answer will be Switzerland. The hedge fund may be in the Caribbean islands, but not the money. The Cayman Islands is a good place for your next holidays on the beach, but definitely not for asset protection and international private banking services. Finally, let's talk about the winner of our beauty contest. Switzerland confirmed his pool position as number one country for asset protection, even more since the COVID-19 crisis. The most secure banks in the world are managing beyond 9,000 billion Swiss francs. Since the COVID-19 crisis, Swiss banks attracted hundreds of billions of Swiss francs in new client money. Switzerland is the number one safe haven destination for all non-resident investors on earth. According to the Swiss public television, eight of the biggest Swiss banks attracted 86 billion in the first six months of last year. 86 billion. Zurich Cantonal Bank saw the biggest percentage rise compared to the same period last year. ZKB or Zurich Cantonal Bank attracted 446% more money than the year before. According to Bloomberg, Lord Anthony Bamford alone the king of excavators and billionaire recently moved 6 billion euro from the Caribbean islands to Switzerland. In 2018, the total amount of assets managed by Swiss banks went up by 30.8% to 7,893 billion. These numbers have been issued by the Swiss Bankers Association. Unfortunately, there are no other official numbers published. Swiss banks are very selective, secretive. Therefore, I made my own calculation. According to my estimate, the assets under asset management of Swiss banks went up beyond 9,000 billion Swiss francs. If you agree with these numbers, please confirm it and make a comment in the comment section below. Make a comment. If you disagree, please write your comment in the comment section below too. 
I'm very wondering your, your numbers. If you have numbers, tell us. Show us. The world is becoming more insecure. Switzerland is the safe haven for excellence offering stability and security. Swiss banks are world market leaders. They are managing between 25 and 30 percent of all existing offshore money on the planet. All these investors, all these owners of 30 percent of all existing offshore money on the planet cannot be wrong. Why Switzerland is the best jurisdiction for asset protection since more than, 2000, since more than 200 years? Here are the reasons. Swiss banks are the best capitalized banks in the world. We have predictable governments, healthy budget, strong and stable currency, no neutrality, high legal security, strong privacy protection and Swiss bank secrecy. Highly regulated banking industry, efficient client protection in case of bankruptcy, securities and precious metals are not on the bank's balance sheet and an outstanding financial market infrastructure. The so-called Swiss value chain. These are the reasons why investors such as the excavator king Lord Bamford and many others are investing billions with Swiss banks, especially since the COVID-19 crisis. Get your money out of the country before your country gets your money out of you. Don't go alone to the first interview with the bank. The risk of being rejected is much higher if you are alone. Swiss banks like to work with somebody they trust. We strongly advise you to hire an expert or a former compliance officer helping you with the opening of a Swiss bank account. You will reduce stress and save time and money. If you want to open a bank account, give us a call now on 0041-442-124404. Your Swiss bank account is the entry ticket to the international business community. How to deal with the most secure banks in the world? I will give you some tips how to deal with banks. Good banks will make a lot of questions. That's a good sign. They want to know who you are and they ask for documents showing the origin of funds. If a bank is not asking questions, you should walk away immediately. They will take your money away. It's not a good sign if a bank is not asking questions. The internet is full with fake banks without the banking license. Good banks ask questions. If the bank will pose you a, a lot of questions, you should answer immediately. Delay creates suspicion. Make sure you have invoices and contracts agreements ready to show to, the, to show to the bank, to show the legitimate origin of the funds. Don't try to provide false information. Fabricated documents or uncommon information can trigger a suspicious activity reports to the money laundering reporting office. Your assets can be frozen for months, if not years. I was combating for more than two years with the prosecutor for having legitimate funds back we fight for your money. Avoid transaction in US dollar. US dollar transaction may cause problems. Stupid questions and unjustified investigations by corresponding US banks can be the result. Where it's possible, you should do Swiss francs or euro transaction. Cash withdrawals with big amounts can be a problem. If you plan a sensitive transaction, please contact me first. Give me a call. Let's discuss the best way to prepare and secure a successful transaction. Give me a call now. Dial the above number here. Here is the number. If you have a sensitive transaction such as gold transaction, commodity trading, adult entertainment, frequent in and out payments, payments from risky countries, etc., you should consider changing the bank before your bank account are frozen. You know exactly which banks, we know exactly which banks are familiar and able to deal with sensitive activities. Remember, the choice of a bank around the corner at home or a secure private bank in Switzerland can make the difference between losing your assets overnight or protecting your assets for generations to come. Insider information just like this cannot be found in universities, in libraries and not in the internet. If you like information just like these, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you need one of the most secure banks in the world, call us now. Here is the number. We are happy to start immediately with Swiss bank account opening. We will introduce you to the best Swiss bank for foreigners and best in class as a manager who will grow your portfolio step by step. We never lost a client. Our clients are happy because they make money step by step, year by year with our external asset manager. 
If you have a very confident question you would like to discuss with me only, grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to protect and diversify your assets by transferring a big part of your assets to Switzerland. Get your money out of the country before your country gets your money out of you. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.